Hi Sanity Seekers! In today's video, we are going to be talking about how jellyfish might hold the key to unlocking unexpected solutions in our fight against climate change. An encounter with jellyfish might not be anyone's favorite summer memory, but jellyfish are truly among the most fascinating creatures in the animal kingdom. On the surface, they're pretty simple critters made 95% out of water. They don't have blood, brains, a backbone or even hearts, but don't rush to call your ex a jellyfish because these mesmerizing blobs drifting through the ocean are far more sophisticated than they appear. Some species of jellyfish are nearly immortal thanks to their ability to revert to an earlier stage when stressed or injured, potentially repeating this cycle indefinitely. Jellyfish boast a lineage stretching back over 500 million years, predating dinosaur by hundreds of millions. They are living fossils, offering a glimpse into the ancient oceans. These translucent drifters are the oldest multi-organ animals and they survived all the catastrophes of our planet's history. Imagine this. Jellyfish were gliding through the seas long before the first T-Rex stomped the earth. Jellyfish, those mesmerizing gelatinous creatures, are experiencing a population boom. But are they a sign of trouble or is there something more to this? The first answer is a yes. There is a link between climate change and the booming jellyfish population. As ocean temperatures climb, and oxygen levels dip due to climate change, jellyfish, with their adaptable bodies and efficient reproduction, are thriving. This advantage over other species, however, disrupts the marine ecosystems and raises concerns about the potential consequences for a future shaped by a warming planet. This is certainly no good news for the delicate balance of ocean life and it can have a major impact on industries such as fisheries and tourism. However, there is a second side to this story, so let's take a deeper dive, pun very much intended, into why jellyfish can also provide us with a set of solutions to fight against climate change. The vast ocean isn't just home to fascinating creatures, it also plays a critical role in fighting climate change. Our oceans act as a giant carbon sink, absorbing around a quarter of the carbon dioxide we emit. But how exactly does this work? Imagine carbon dioxide as tiny bubbles entering the ocean. Some of it gets used by marine plants like phytoplankton for growth, similar to how trees use it on land. The rest dissolves in the water, where various marine organisms come into play. Enter the unexpected hero. Jellyfish. These seemingly simple creatures, while not directly involved in photosynthesis, contribute to carbon sequestration in two fascinating ways. Firstly, jellyfish are like underwater vacuum cleaners, feasting on plankton and other marine life. When they die, their bodies sink rapidly towards the ocean floor, taking all that captured carbon with them. Compared to smaller organisms, jellyfish carcasses sink faster and carry more organic carbon down to the deep sea, effectively locking it away in sediments for thousands of years. Secondly, jellyfish indirectly support the growth of phytoplankton, the tiny plant-like organisms at the base of the marine food chain. By controlling populations of zooplankton, which feed on phytoplankton, jellyfish can help maintain a healthy balance, allowing phytoplankton to thrive and absorb more carbon dioxide through photosynthesis. While research on the exact impact on jellyfish on carbon sequestration is ongoing, it is becoming increasingly clear that these fascinating creatures play a more complex and beneficial role in our planet's health than we initially thought. But there are more ways that jellyfish can help us to become more sustainable. One of the ways can be a rather crude one. We could, well, eat them. The potential of jellyfish as a sustainable food source is a topic of growing interest for scientists and some adventurous chefs. Alongside the booming jellyfish population, the world population explodes towards 10 billion by 2050. Feeding this hungry planet is no easy feat. Food production struggles to keep up, relying heavily on unsustainable practices. To address this looming crisis, exploring new sustainable food sources becomes essential, pushing us to move beyond traditional methods and embrace innovative solutions for a food-secure future. Among hundreds of jellyfish species, about 30 are believed to be edible. Some Asian cuisines, in fact, have long incorporated some of these species into their diets. For example, Pickled jellyfish is a popular delicacy in China, Korea, Vietnam and Japan. In Thailand, yum jellyfish is a vibrant salad known for its sweet and sour flavors. Nevertheless, Western countries are yet to catch up. 
This is precisely why some scientists and chefs are advocating for jellyfish to go mainstream in the Western markets. Jellyfish is low in calories, yet high in protein and collagen content. If you ask me, it genuinely sounds better than many things that wildness enthusiasts consume. Take the words of the Italian zoologist Stefano Piranio, who was one of the authors of the European Jellyfish Cook, which was the first worldwide cookbook where jellyfish is used for Western-style dishes. Animal protein is produced from the sea for over 3 billion people, but the exploitation of these resources is now at the maximum limit of sustainability, he says. The only way out is to find different, new, sustainable food resources. And unless you're vegan, what could be more sustainable as a food item than something that is experiencing a population boom due to climate change? Obviously, it could be quite some time until we can purchase jellyfish snacks from mainstream Western supermarkets. Challenges could lie in ethical harvesting, consumer acceptance and navigating regulatory frameworks, but the potential and the possibility is definitely there. The market value of jellyfish in East Asia is already estimated at over 100 million euros. I would happily give it a try. The mesmerizing yet humble jellyfish is a reminder that even in the face of environmental challenges, unexpected allies can emerge, offering unique solutions and reminding us of the interconnectedness of our beautiful planet. As excitement about the manifold potentials of jellyfish in the scientific communities keep growing, who knows how the next findings about them will teach us. Perhaps it's some breakthrough in carbon absorption, material science, or even insights about immortality and how we could live longer. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation about jellyfish and how the oldest animals in history can help us become more climate resilient in unexpected ways. Here at Sanity Feed, I'm sharing some jolly good news, but not just about jellyfish, but I'm exploring solutions and possibilities to some of humanity's greatest challenges. In a divided media landscape that's trying to profit from our anger and outrage, I strive to bring you a dose of optimism and inspiration, but without overlooking the hard truths. And while doing so, I'm a big fan of science, nuance and puns. If my content resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up and join the Sanity Squad by subscribing to my channel. What's your favorite jellyfish fact? Or would you ever eat jellyfish like I certainly would? Share it in the comments below and let's keep the conversation flowing. And until the next video, I hope you don't run into any stinging situations in your life and have resilient and glowing days.